Welcome to another video of Impel Labs video tutorials. Uh, as we said before, uh, in this video we're going to talk about um, RAID 5 volumes and mirrored volumes, actually how you could enable them in Windows XP Professional. Uh, as you know, um, normally um, in, Windows XP in Windows XP Professional, mirrored volumes and RAID 5 volumes are not, a, are not an option when you're going to actually create volumes on dynamic disk drives. So um, if we check it out right now, go to start and right click on my computer, click manage and in the disk management console, if you see, we've got um, no, if we've got um, two dynamic disk drives here. Make sure that when you're going to create RAID 5 and mirrored volumes, make sure that you have dynamic disk drives because um, the, these options are only available on um, dynamic disk drives. So we would go ahead and, uh, for, in, for example, click on dynamic, uh, dyna dynamic disk drive that we have here and click new volume and click next and as you see here we've got only simple span and st striped volumes and we don't have the other two options which are RAID 5 and mirrored volumes well um, one thing that if uh, I have to say is that if you're not familiar with all these uh, expressions such as simple span uh, stripes and dynamic disk drives, basic disk drives and so on. We've actually posted another video which is around 35-40 minutes. Uh, we talked about uh, every single thing here uh, and so you could actually, you want, want to review that first before um, creating actually your mirrored volumes and RAID 5 volumes. Um, you could actually have access to it. Um, just simply go to the, um, the link provided down there in partlabs.blogspot.com and um, go to the Windows Disk Management link and simply just download it and it's for free. Uh, so what you have to do here, so as you see, we've d we don't we j we only have simple span and striped. We don't have the other two options here. So what we have to do, we have to actually give the Windows a little bit of tweak. Here uh, I've got an unallocated dynamic disk drive just to create. Oh, we're not going to create the volume right now. Let's go and uh, enable RAID and mirror volumes, and we come back here. Check this out. We create our vol volumes here. Okay, so uh, let's close this. Okay, so first of all, what, what you have to do is just simply um, download um, uh, a free hex editor which would enable you to uh, edit some of the files some of the files that we have to uh, it's named free hex editor it's for the HDD software um, let me write it here because right now I think I have it enabled just if it's possible here I would be able to do it within a second now I have internet so let's go to the internet and simply just find it for you so you won't run in, run any in, into any problems not if okay whatever in english okay here go to google.com type free hex editor and hdd software right after it because it belongs to the company HDD Software. Actually, this version that we're downloading is for free, but if you want a more complicated version, a more professional version, you have to purchase it. So here's you see, free hex editor now, and it's for free, and you could simply download it here. So I, I've downloaded it already, just click it, and it would just go ahead and download it for you. Go to download.com, and it would, you have to download it here. So here, just click it, and it would pop up safe. I've already downloaded this um, software. So you download it and it's here. Free hex editor. You just go ahead and install it. Double click it. Next. I uh, accept these terms. You just read these, whatever it is, and then click the accept terms license agreement. Click next. Um, full would be actually a good option. Click next. Click next. Um, click next. Uh, the other the options that we just passed by, yeah, it depends on your own where you want to install it, when, where you want it to be in the start menu, and so on. So, I'll let you um, figure that out yourself. So, run HDD or HHD free X editor and click finish. Okay, so here we are. There are actually three files that you have to edit. Um, I've actually. Um, put it um, the text actually it's a text 
uh, file that you could have access to it. I've uh, put the link that you could have access to it on the um, more info part of the YouTube um, YouTube information about the video and so on whatever it is on the right hand side so if you click it there's a link there just um, go to the link that I've prov provided there and you would find a text document that which would actually include all of the codes that you have to change and so on but right now I would give a simple um, review of what you have to do so even if you don't have it it won't be a problem but that's just for um, having it and just for better uh, understanding so okay so what we have to do there are three fonts that you have to edit with this hex editor first of all um, it's dmboot.sys and it's located in the C let's go to start window and to run and it's located in C um, Windows and in System 32 and drivers finally <clears throat> when you click when you actually have this path written here just simply click OK and come here and <clears throat> look for DM boot simply just click one of the files and type DM boot it would automatically find it so just drag it into this hex editor okay one thing before we go ahead and edit this um, file is that uh, make sure that the changes you're making are completely consistent because um, it, it, it doesn't understand saving or anything right now that you're making the changes it's actually being saved so there's no step back make sure that there uh, you're making you won't you not ma you're not making any kind of mistakes so first of all what we did is that we opened the dm boot dot sys um, from the path that I was and that I just gave and what we have to do here press control F so we could find the text we're looking for and click this little uh, rectangle here because this one you would be entering the hexadecimal keys here exactly but we're looking for text here so click here and type win nt um, with um, the caps lock up actually the uppercase win n uh, t let me see if I wrote it right here we are so win nt 